So take the water out and there's eggs in that contains like the worms. Like they drink it and the worms come out the legs and that. They were walking for miles and miles to get water and by the time they're getting back to school they were just so exhausted they just went to sleep. It's easy for us because we just turn a tap. Waterworks is a business that started out of a geography lesson um, several years ago when we were talking about clean water problems in Ghana and students themselves suggested that we set up a business. We sell the water because we're raising the money to build a well in a village called Adam Banso in Ghana. Oh, it was scary. Um, we were in year eight. The first phone call, I think I made it, nobody else would do it. So I stood up and said, oh, I'll do it. So you write a script of what you're going to say and then you pick the phone up and someone answers on the other end and it just all goes out the window. Um, but once we did it once, and once I did the second time and the third time, everyone seen I got like a buzz out of it. Everyone wanted to go. I wrote a play and it's called like Cindy. It's a modern version of Cinderella. I thought I'd bring it in and see if we could make some money out of it. Social enterprise projects are really valuable for young people. It helps them to be independent, to make their own decisions, to have that can-do attitude, which is so important for young people entering the world of work these days. I think maybe earlier on I wouldn't even have even thought about business at all, but now that I've, I know about social enterprise, it like, makes you think about, well maybe I'm not just like making money for a certain thing, it's going to like help people. I got confidence out of it. It made us a lot more confident around other people who I didn't know, especially picking the phone up. You get a good feeling out of it, because you're giving back to people. Mm -hmm.